Hi there, and this is Hoo Ha Sports Today, your daily sports update and review show covering all that's happening in your world of football and beyond. Well, we've been talking quite a lot about Newcastle United for the past week or so, and who knows if they do a number against Manchester City this weekend, we will have to continue to highlight them. But we need to switch our focus to the other sides, and as mentioned yesterday, we will look at what is happening with Chelsea, as they have that big match against Liverpool on Sunday. They haven't been the Chelsea of old under Andre Vyash Bosch. Some are still not sold on his capabilities, especially his player selection. One in particular is Jose Basingua and their leaky defence when he's in it. And there's also the man who has lost his mojo, Fernando Torres. The fans have taken their concerns to the best possible outlet, their Facebook page. But first up, on their last performance against Blackman on the official Chelsea FB page, Timothy Nyota says that they were lucky to get all three points with just a 1-0 win and another horrendous miss by Torres. Agreed. What does he need to do to hit the target? Well, I think he has found the answer. More on that later. Meanwhile, KH Kuhn points out the improved defence without Bosingwa. Well, it gets a little confusing with Yannick Mal- Maleo. Well, first he posts a common Torres. Come on, Torres, what's wrong with you? Then about an hour later, Yannick wonders if he's on Facebook as he would like to part with some words of encouragement. Meanwhile, our local Chelsea boys have got some interesting comments on the My Chelsea FB page. Ricky Woon says it with some flair. Form is temporary while class is permanent, referring to how Frank Lampard has regained his effectiveness in the squad. But can one man actually lift the performance of a team? It seems to be the same with Arsenal and Robin Van Persie, isn't it? Just looking at the stats available at PremierLeague.com, the form guide tells a different story. Chelsea actually lie in six with two losses in the last six matches. All the three teams below them in the league are above sixth form-wise. But it should be comforting to the fans to know that the Blues have fared much better than Manchester United. And it boils down to this weekend against the team that's just above them in the form guide, Liverpool. Can Fernando Torres finally redeem himself? The possibilities are there. Because according to Rizal Zukifli on the My Chelsea FB page to a post of an article by Goal.com, the boy is hoping to rediscover his goal-scoring touch with a new pair of Nikes. And I really do like Reza Jamil's comments. I know, buddy. Anything. Just just anything. Maybe you should even tell him to mandi bunga. Well, that's a traditional bad mojo cleansing done with seven flowers. Long story. But the new Nikes in question is the T90 Laser 4. And there is an interview feature with Torres and images of the development of the shoes. So we will end our news feature with that clip. Till we dissect another Premier League side tomorrow from the team and I, it's bye for now. I, I came to, to take this season with a big responsibility. I know this is a very important season for me, also for, for the club and for my teammates. The expectations are very high and our target obviously like uh, all the seasons are to win a trophy. All this season uh, we have found a new manager, we have also some new players. Uh, the manager gets a a very similar philosophy than we have in Spain. He's Portuguese and we are Spanish, so it's a very similar concept of, of football. We are trying and training every day very hard to, to get uh, his ideas, involving the team as soon as possible to become a very strong team. And uh, as my new teammates, uh, it's very, very nice for me to play aside with Juan Mata and playing with him in the national team, and we have a very good relationship inside and outside the pitch. Also, Raúl Meireles, I, I played with him last season and he's a, a very good player and uh, all the perfect strike. Uh, so, uh, a lot of people is talking about that, how important is the, the body position, how important is the, the timing when you hit the ball, how important is, is, is the boot performance in that, and obviously the boot performance is very important. Also the body position, the, the timing when you hit the ball, but the, the perfect strike is the one who, who is going inside of the net.